But she's your sister, she don't count. Oh my god! Sit in your f***ing room now! Take a joke! So you all made me go th all through all this <gasps> just for a stupid prank! Emma and Cody are with me. I have emergency custody. I just want to play the Cody now. But Emma don't care what Cody does. Hello, this is Emma Marie Martin. Please, Martin, f*** off. If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. Daddy05 is the perfect example of a family channel that should have never existed in the first place. I mean, we shouldn't even have family channels. You see the Ace family and what they have become. But Daddy05 found themselves in criminal trouble and they're still out here on YouTube making content under a secret name. Well, the Martin family. They used a throwaway YouTube channel to continue making content and profiting off their kids, even though they've had so much scandal. Straight up, this headline should tell you that there is a major problem here because there should be no YouTube prankster parents who make content of their children and pranking their children to get some coin. I can't imagine being a creator and having to put my children in compromising situations to get clickbait and then to get views. Many would call Mike and Heather Martin among the worst parents of 2017 as they stood accused of a their children for fame and video clicks. Both Mike and Heather had their own YouTube channels, Daddy of Five and Mommy of Five, and they would go and prank their children for, you know, I guess entertainment. I'm someone who is against pranking. Like, I almost don't even like a surprise party. Like, a surprise party, one, doesn't really that like work that often, and then two, I'm just like already caught off guard. Like, I'm like annoyed that I wasn't wearing like an outfit that was better. Like, I don't know. Just don't surprise me. And definitely don't try to prank me. The blended family includes Mike's two children from another marriage, Cody and Emma, along with Heather's three sons. Many insist that their videos on YouTube were documented cases of child abuse. You can see they do play it up for the cameras, but these are children and they are messing with their minds while shoving this camera in their face. One video in particular on their YouTube channel caught a lot of attention involving spilled ink and this child's response is so uncomfortable. I almost want to give you guys a trigger warning for this entire video because a lot of these clips are hard to watch. Cody! Harmless prank or outrageous abuse of their kids. The video starts with a Maryland mother holding a bottle of magic disappearing ink. I'm going to squirt it all over his carpet and start flipping out. That's exactly what she does. Then she screams for her 10-year-old son, Cody. What the f I didn't do that! Even the father joins in as the youngster says he didn't do anything. Why did you do that? You ruined the carpet. Get out of here! Mind your business! Why did you do that? Oh my god! Another son is suddenly dragged into it. So you were up here too? No! You did it too! Wait, is this considered a prank? Like this type of yelling, this is prank material? Like I feel like I want to cry for that kid. Imagine that like, and you also know, I feel like I can remember being a kid and having like, you know, when you're accused of something and that like just overwhelming feeling of like, how do you explain yourself when you aren't guilty? And he's just completely going through all the emotions. All the other kids are shocked. No! You both did it! Both youngsters burst into tears. They're shattered to be so falsely accused. Absolutely despicable. Like, lock them up, take away the children. Thank God they took away some of the children. At the end of this prank, the parents were laughing, telling them, it's just a prank, bruh. Then the parents instructed Cody, who is still red from crying and begging, to promote their YouTube channel. They tell them, hey, it's just a prank, chill out. And then camera in their face, like promote the YouTube channel while they're still like just emotionally in shock. Now, seriously, this prank is one that I can't get over. The father has the children play game for a YouTube video where they have to flip a bottle. And if they don't flip it, one gets to slap the other one. Just literally promoting a game where the kids get to slap each other in the face. Like that is just so... It, it like will fill you with fear. I mean, you honestly go into survival mode and imagine how these kids feel 
pushing each other around. Like it's not only good for the kid who's being hit, but the kid who is hitting. Both Cody and Emma, the children, receive slaps from their brother Alex so much that they both cry. In regards to Emma being a girl and the brother Alex slapping her around, the father says that you aren't allowed to hit girls, but she's your sister, so she don't count. You can see in this clip that Emma just seems emotionally crushed. Bottle flip slap. Okay, that's what we're gonna call it. You're not now you gotta flip the bottle. Don't try this at home, but include your children. Make it make sense. And land it. Now, if it lands, you're safe. Now, if it don't land, you can't the other person you gets to slap you in the face. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Alex gets a slap. Ah, stand you're flinching. No, 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 no. Stand up, stand up. <laughs> you get to slap, you get to slap him! I quit! Are you serious? Yes! Gonna quit if I just go And you know you- Literally the kid is like, I want to quit. Like, they don't want to participate. Don't hit girls! Yeah, but she's your sister, she don't count. What the heck? Boys don't hit girls! Just give her a little tap. Oh my god! I didn't say like that! I said give her a little tap! <laughs> oh my god! I've never seen that clip. Like, that is such a... Oh my god. And then they put it on YouTube. Oh, so uncomfortable. And of course, creating trash content like this is gonna make them a ton of money. New York Magazine writer named Rachel writes that though many YouTube stars essentially work as child entertainers, the Martins explicitly claim that their kids are acting and that their children are running off some script. That is absolute BS. You can tell that they are not acting. And um, yeah, the parents are profiting and making a pretty penny. And it still keeps going up. <clears throat> Damn. Motivated, Mike and Heather kept posting more pranks to boost their subscriber and viewer counts even more. However, their content also became increasingly shocking. The parents clearly disregarded the health and safety of the children. One of them, Cody, was particularly targeted. Now don't get me wrong, all of the Martin children were bullied, but Cody was definitely picked on the most. Did you see Mike's face in that clip when they hit 100,000 subscribers? He looked like he won the lottery. No joke. And of course, when they got called out, they did not take it well. They attacked their haters following the scandal. Honestly, I question why YouTube wasn't stepping in. Numerous negative comments and online backlash prompted Mike to create a follow-up to their Invisible Ink prank. The video features Mike and Heather denying that they've done anything wrong in pranking their children. And that anyone throwing criticism their way just do not understand their family or their sense of humor. And I, uh, one, I don't think it's funny at all. And then two, it's just wild that they call that their sense of humor because none of the kids look like they're enjoying it. Mike actually puts their children on the spot asking if any of them have been traumatized when they all say no. He asks Cody specifically if he feels traumatized, but he says no, but he also adds that he doesn't really know what the word means. Of course, he's going to say whatever his father wants him to say, especially can you imagine like if he said like, yes, <laughs> the dad's not going to include that footage. Already the setup, there's something so wrong with it. It looks like he's being punished. Punished for what his dad has been putting him through. What's your deal? You stay right there. I gotta get my damn phone. Get in your f***ing room now! No, you're getting in your room! I've already said it 12 times. Now! Philip DeFranco is a big YouTuber and he's been able to use his platform to bring attention to these pranks. And, you know, I've seen him talk about pranks before in the past that are actually, you know, funny pranks, like adults, like, I guess somewhat consenting. Can you consent to a prank? I guess you can't. Hmm. But at least he brought this issue to light. Philip's breakdown and analysis of their videos, these pranks, led to massive outrage all over the web. And while he wasn't the first one to call them out, he had like the biggest platform. And once he did, everybody was on board with getting these people off the internet and protecting these kids. Because this story went super viral, all the experts had their opinions. One person wrote, there's little question in my mind that the three videos depict a 
abusive behavior between the parents and children as well as between siblings. The parents' constant and intense ridicule involving both words and actions express contempt, deprive the child victim of a sense of self-worth. Another person added that a neuropsychologist who worked with Frederick County Child Protective Services during the investigation, which actually I grew up not too far from Frederick County, I think like within a few hours, but they found that 11-year-old Emma and 10-year-old Cody had experienced substantial impairments of their mental or psychological ability to function. So these kids have been going through it their entire life. Now, take a joke. Take a joke. You're the only one in the house that can't take a joke and gotta act like a butthole. It's just a prank, bro. I told it's you, you always prank, go bro. after me and Cody. It's just a prank. So you all made me go all through all this just for a stupid prank. Yeah. I'm tired of this. I couldn't even react to that because that is just too much to watch to see that poor kid going through it and like you could even see in his eyes he's like what is this life this isn't right eventually the children's biological mother stepped in her name is rose hall and she's the biological mother of cody and emma and she gained custody of the children she actually made a video talking about how she went on to go and rescue her children from this man and thank god she did and even though it's disgusting that it, it probably escalated because of youtube and how the videos fed this like money and attention that they were receiving but also i wonder if it was like if youtube wasn't there would the uh, still be happening like is there a you know some light in the situation that the videos at least exposed this happening so the children could be brought to safety or is like you know the platform the poison and what really caused them the parents i mean there's no excuse the parents are criminal but like caused them to kind of like I guess do more than they would have done in the first place. It's all still so gross. Hi, my name's Tim Conlon. I'm a lawyer uh, and I operate my law firm's called The Custody Place. I'm with Rose Hall, who is the mother of Emma and Cody Martin, who are the victims in the Daddy 05 YouTube case. Emma and Cody are with me. I have emergency custody. Um, they're doing good getting back to their playful selves. We were before the court and obtained emergency custody of the kids. Yes, sir. So that they'd be safe. Yes. Um, and I think that the Frederick County Sheriff's Department, who deserve a kudos, uh, assisted yes. you in retrieving them, right? Uh, yes, they did a great job. Um, they helped my kids and got them back safely to me. Now, their mother's lawyer, Tim, says that the children were in deprogramming mode following their arrival to their mom's home. So they were kind of trying to, I guess, process like what I guess life will be like without a camera shoved in their face. Cody had a difficult time, though, when the police tried to bring him to his mother, saying that there were some disturbing things that he thought about her, that he hated her, that Mike and Heather, the other abusive parents, told him, I threw him away like he was garbage and I didn't love him anymore, which isn't true at all. So these parents were also trying to convince their children to hate their biological mother, essentially further isolating them into this world that they've created. Now, the Martin family did try to save face a little bit. They hired a PR firm and they decided to issue an apology a little too late. I mean, way too late. More needs to be said. I feel like I owe everyone more of an explanation. I don't care anymore. Videos are fake. They're fake. They're over-exaggerated. Some videos are scripted. Some video, I mean, they're just played out. They're the kids' ideas. I mean, there's no way you can deny that those two children in particular were definitely targeted the most, which is interesting because they're the, you know, the children that did not come from this mother. We act them out, we, we. And we've said that. I mean, we've said it's their ideas. We've said they're it's their time. ideas. I put in the video description for entertainment purposes only. I categorize the videos as entertainment or comedy, something that I know. I've even used keywords a few times. I used the word fake in the keywords and stuff a few times. I, this are, is, I, I, I never really came out. And I, I, I'm sorry I introduced this as an apology. I didn't realize this is not really an apology. Instead, we were fake because I was scared to kill our YouTube channel. That kind of thing kills a YouTube channel. My kids love the YouTube channel. It's, and we love our fans. And we love our fans. I, I, I didn't want to disappoint anyone. 
After losing custody of Cody and Emma, the Martins deleted all their prank videos from their channel and replaced it with new videos. New videos that only feature Mike and Heather. The title is Family Destroyed Over False Accusations. They insist that the videos were fake and that many of the clips were by his children, which that part of this this apology i mean it, it's not an apology but really blaming the kids is next level especially when you see how emotionally distressed they are it's like they're not actors there's no acting here it's not like they're prepared for this you can tell that the kids are shocked when they had to learn that they were slapping each other they were like wait what so they weren't prepared now we eventually got somewhat of an apology if you want to you know describe it as but they received five years probation and they could not have contact with those children anymore. I'm surprised there wasn't any jail time. Maybe someone in the comments can explain below. I feel like when there's a domestic violence situation, typically the state takes on like the, the pressing of the charges. Like no one has to ne necessarily like press the charges. So I would assume the state would charge them. I mean, they were charged with something, but they didn't serve any jail time. The parents who say they got carried away with a YouTube prank on their kids were sentenced to five years of probation. Heather and Michael Martin entered guilty pleas to charges of child neglect that stemmed from this prank they played on their kids and posted to their YouTube page. After getting backlash from viewers, they apologized for the joke, saying they took it too far. We have made some terrible parenting decisions and we just want to make things right. Prosecutors in Maryland still file charges, and two of the kids were placed in the custody of their biological mother. The Martin sentence was suspended, and they cannot have contact with those children unless approved by the court. They must also undergo mental health counseling and evaluations. Now, the family didn't stop after these charges. They went by family of five, writing on their page that we are entertainers. We are real people, real family. Some events may be staged, reenacted, or exaggerated for entertainment purposes. Trying to, again, continue what they were doing and now having this little warning. Our children will not be a target of any pranks displayed on this channel, not even staged. If they are home when we prank each other or they prank us, they will be fully aware of what is going on. Despite this statement, the trailer for the Family of Five page does include clips of Mike yelling at his son, Alex, who is also a target in the Invisible Ink prank, as well as a clip of Alex screaming at his family and visibly upset. So did things really change? What? Not him crying over his brother, wanting his brother to come home, and them putting this out there. Sorry. They're okay. You don't got nothing to be sorry about. You don't need to be sorry for nothing. You hear me? I just want them to come. I just want them to come back. I want them to come back too, but. Sorry, I should have so much to be entertained and play. I just hope that this man has not convinced his children that they are at fault because I mean, even during their like apology, their second one, he wasn't speaking. And I have a feeling that he has convinced himself that he's not the problem. And maybe he's made these kids like, you know, he made the other children hate their mother. So maybe he's going to make these kids feel that they are the ones to take the burden for this. Now, Family of Five, their channel was eventually deleted. And it looks like the company itself, YouTube, said that they are not allowing content endangering children on the internet which they say that but do they really stop it mm, no the family decided to create a website to upload their vlogs to and charging fees to fans who wish to watch their content wow money grifters now some of the boys went off to create their own youtube channel and now this youtube channel was taken over by the father and the father now has created the martin family channel so this man is still out here i thought when someone was banned from a platform they were banned forever so youtube would pick up if they created a new platform and i mean granted their children first started this page if you go to the first videos it's like the children's entertainment but the dad has fully taken over in the description they write our parents were wrongfully accused of things they did not do but made the best choices they could for us all the time but who really knows what the truth is because there's something about this father who is so hungry to be on camera and he's even put out a video saying that he is back what's up everybody i just wanted to say merry christmas and what are you doing 
You didn't know we was coming back to YouTube? I'm on the grind, man. We pumping out videos. Guess we're back on YouTube. Maybe. One person wrote, haven't you been taught this lesson, old man? Another person replied, I love the young people. This person wrote, human garbage. Another person added, they're really trying to find loopholes owned by the grandma and managed by the eldest son. They're trying to say that this channel is controlled by other people, when in fact it's really this man, Mike, who just is obsessed with the internet. This person writes, man, it's crazy how desperate you are to be famous. Like they are famous for being child abusers. No one will ever like you. Another person writes, this is total nonsense i thought one of the parents were locked up in prison nope back to the nasty horrendous days of torture and endurance for those poor ass kids as far as how cody and emma are doing we do have a clip of emma from 2023 and here's a little update hello this is emma marie martin i'm tired with the online bullshit and i would like it to stop my mother is not a child abuser. please martin f off Ooh, Emma grew up and she learned a new vocabulary. She said F off to the Martin family. So it'll be interesting to see these people on social media and how it plays out. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.